Hey guys, it's Lindsay. So today I'm going to be doing my May, April, May favorites video. I skipped April because I uploaded my March favorites right in the middle of April. That was my first video back. And I just decided just to skip April and go up, go ahead and just make uh, the May favorites, both the April and May favorites combined video. I went to Sephora like maybe three weeks ago and I just didn't feel like it was worth it to film a haul so I didn't but I did pick up the Saint Tropez the self tan express my most favorite mousse of like all time is the Saint Tropez mousse in uh, in dark and this is my favorite 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 it gives you such an amazing tan it gives you the darkest color and it blends so effortlessly the smell isn't that uh, that biscuity smell that you sometimes can get from self tanners. This is just one of my holy grails and uh, I've, I've been trying several different tanners and this has just been my my go-to and so I decided to try out I know this has been out for probably like a year um, the self tan express I think this is the two or three hour mousse or the the one hour tan uh, advanced bronzing mousse one hour tan and this actually develops a tan within one hour as to where your traditional self tanners you have to you know let it develop over eight hours six to eight hours without getting it wet this one you can put on leave on for about an hour and then you can actually see some color that has developed and left on your skin after you shower one uh one hour equals like a light light to medium tan two hours is a medium more deeper tan and then three hours is the darkest tan that you can get and you can leave this on overnight and so i've been trying this out for the past month and i absolutely love this this is this is awesome for those days where you forgot to self tan your legs and you need to leave like that night and you need a tan on your legs I'll put this on my legs right whenever I'm getting ready and then I'll take a quick like little shower just to get the guard color off and to get rid of the smell and oh my gosh this is awesome I absolutely love this and the color develops super fast it's true three hours you do have a base tan and it's a really nice color I wouldn't say it gets as dark as the Saint Tropez just the regular um, dark mousse and I've never tried the regular mousse my mom has and she absolutely loves it um, I think she said that that's better for people who are starting out self tanning and so this is an awesome product there is a difference though in the colors I do feel like this is more green based and this has a more neutral undertone um, it's, it's a strange I can't really describe the color of this one but it's not exactly the same results but you still get color if you're looking for something with like a fast tan um, this will definitely give it to you I would say it's a good medium to deep tan that this gives you now this doesn't fade as nicely as the eight hour uh, regular dark Saint Tropez mousse uh, I would say this fades a little bit more patchy so you do have to be very diligent on keeping your skin moisturized making sure that you are exfoliating right before you apply this but other than that it's really really nice and it's just it's a great convenient product if you ever have problems with keeping color on you I think I'm on like third day for I'm on like the fourth day of tan so I'm like I'm at the end of my tans life right now like I need to go in the shower and exfoliate like now but the color does fade nicely uh, I think that the color fades better with the regular dark mousse with the Ada I think it's just how fast it develops and the, the chemicals used it might be a different concentration of the DHA used in the actual product itself that could be giving the different results but it still works in a pinch and it's such a convenient product and it still gives you a really really beautiful tan since the self tanner is sort of like a uh, skincare I'm gonna go on to another skincare favorite and this is just something that I like to use at night this is the Estee Lauder advanced night repair I mentioned it in my last video um, if you haven't seen it I'll link it somewhere here in the video but this is an amazing serum I've been having a lot of acne breakouts and this has really been helping calm down my skin and soothe it and uh, I have a lot of expression lines because I do I lift my eyebrows a lot while I'm talking and it I know it drives me crazy watching back my videos but uh, it's causing lines in my forehead and I've actually noticed this is really reducing those lines and it's I've been using it for almost two months now and I've got the bigger size I bought it at a CCO I think that's the best way to go about if you can find a CCO where they sell uh, 
cosmetics at a discount if you can find one and find this product you can probably knock maybe 20 bucks off the price of this because this can get very expensive but that's where I bought mine and uh, I haven't had any problems with this product it hasn't broken me out it really calms and soothes my skin and I've just noticed that the the finer lines on my forehead uh, and especially like my laugh lines right here since I have very I'm very expressive with my facial expressions and I've noticed a big difference with this serum and it hasn't broken me out yet and I'm very oh my gosh I'm so sensitive and I haven't broken out from this that I know of <laughs> okay since we're talking about skin I'm going to do foundation I just did a first impression of this I gave you a little bit of what I thought and I have played with it more it's been about I'd say it's been about a week since I last filmed that video so I've had a week to play with this use different products with it and I think this is amazing using as a mixing medium in your foundations to make your foundations last longer I don't know what it is but there's something about the binder formula in this product that is absolutely amazing I didn't even say the name it's the cover effects custom cover drops you can use it in your moisturizer and uh, mix it together three drops is full coverage two drops is medium coverage one is light coverage I did a whole first impressions if you want a little bit more information about it there oh my gosh this just transform it transforms a foundation that you might be having problems with I will give you an example MAC face and body foundation is a beautiful foundation it just has never had enough coverage for me but I've always loved the way it sits on my skin and adding a few drops of this in this makes it last longer and because I think it's a drier formula it causes this to matte down a little bit so it's not as oily and this makes it a full coverage foundation it makes you your skin look so natural and radiant formula is just absolutely perfect and I've used this with a couple of other foundations as well I've used it with the NARS Sheer Glow and it makes the the lasting power of the NARS Sheer Glow just last so much longer this is a magical product I want to buy some more colors of it because I want a paler color and then a darker color just to add in my other foundations because this is like my skin tone here at like I think this is too light for whenever I am freshly self tanned and this is like my color now and I want one lighter to mix in with some of my darker foundations that I use whenever I do self tan and so I think this is an amazing product I am so in love and you all need to get out and buy this I bought some of this stuff like right around the same time and I heard several reviews talking about this concealer I'm gonna be doing a video very soon comparing the naked skin and the Mac pro Longwear. this is replacing the Mac pro Longwear for me and I have been using Mac pro Longwear for like at least a year at least a year straight I have not bought any other concealers for underneath my eyes this has just been absolutely one of my favorites I did buy the uh, I did pick up the um, the NARS radiant creamy concealer and this just did not do it for me I don't get the hype about this this is a, we'll say this is a fail for the month because I just don't care anything for it yeah the formula is full coverage it does cover your dark circles but and it highlights beautifully it's just the creasing on it is ridiculous it creases so bad on me and I don't know and it just after a couple of hours it never looks good after two three hours on me now it could be different for somebody else but it never looks that great on me after a couple of hours it looks real cakey it's bunching up in the fine lines and settling I just I didn't care for it but this has been my go-to for almost a year now I use this in my wedding and that was last year and I haven't stopped using it since like I don't buy concealers anymore because this has just been the one for me until I tried this out and the formula is absolutely amazing I am wearing it today and I, I don't think I mentioned this but I am wearing the cover effects today this is full coverage it's lightweight it does not crease if you if you set it now you've got to set this found the foundation you've got to set this concealer with some powder I use a Mary Kay powder that is a pretty light pale powder the powder locks it in place it doesn't crease and it's a lightweight formula so it doesn't end up having that cakey look 
that I'm having issues with with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm finding that during the day, the more I wear it, it's staying in place. This has been on probably four hours now and I'm not having any creasing and it's just is one of my favorites and it's very quickly replacing my matte pro long wear and I can't believe I just said that it's like the heavenly angels are kissing your face mm. oh. well. so I want to talk about three cheek products that are slowly becoming an everyday thing for me that I'm using the Mac Mac oh my gosh no the I almost said MAC again. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk. The Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. Now, this is my new one. I've had one forever. It's one that I actually have, I actually have an original like OG video on this exact bronzer. This is the Too Faced. Uh, this is back whenever this was the only one that they had that was the matte dark, darker bronzing powder. I did a video about this like three years ago. It's been forever. So I was missing it in my life because that's really old and I keep it just for nostalgia purposes because of that video. But I want, I will not use it because that thing is old. And I bought me a new one and this thing is just, it's my favorite. It, it's my favorite. I love the Anastasia contour kit like I talked about last favorites video, but nothing can beat this as far as adding color to your face, even contouring a little bit. It's just, it's a beautiful powder. It's matte, it's creamy, it blends out like a dream. It's not muddy, it's not orange. It's just the most perfect neutral, you can't even see that. It's just, it's just my favorite. I will love it forever and it has a special place in my heart because of YouTube land. I am wearing the Balm Hot Mama blush and I bought this probably last year and I never cared for it and then for some reason this past month I picked it up out of my drawer because I was trying to rotate through some blushes I hadn't been using. I hadn't. I haven't been using. That's the good old country coming out with me. This has the most gorgeous golden peachy glow. One of my favorite blush blushes. Oh my gosh, Miranda Sings is just about to come out. <gasps> So yes, this is amazing. This gives you a glow. You look bronzy. You look beautiful. And what's on my cheekbones is the Mary Luminizer. This is an oldie but a goodie. This is my favorite highlight, I think, ever because it just makes your skin look so glowy and beautiful and you look so heavenly. Sing it to the heavens, girl. Okay. I am not a brow girl. I talked about the Anastasia Brow Wiz last month. I am now going to be talking about the... Anastasia, 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 please don't kill me. <laughs> the Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe. This is so fast and easy to do if you do it lightly with a light hand. You can go like super bold brow. You can draw those suckers in and you know, they would be plastered on your face and they would be there all day. I try to do as natural of a brow as I can. These are my natural brow hairs. I just try to darken up some areas and fill in some areas, but I don't have sparse brows. They're just really blonde. And that's the only thing I'm trying to do is just bring up the color a little bit. I don't like a fake brow look. I try to keep it as natural as possible. I like, I just prefer that look. It's a process learning how to do this because this is such, this is, my brows have been something that I have been neglecting for so long and now that I'm just like just now getting into them and learning them it's kind of like I've got to step up my brow game I know it's kind of a lengthier process like adding brows into your routine like it takes forever to do brows for me is that is that anybody else's problem and it's my least favorite part to do because it's nothing colorful and you don't get to do anything fun so this is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner and this has of course been made famous by the wonderful Jaclyn Hill. I talk about her in almost every video I feel like, but she is the queen. But for real though, this eyeliner is probably one of the best drugstore eyeliners. Drugstore is actually stepping their game up and their eyeliners are awesome. And I'm wearing this eyeliner today and it's just, it's a great eyeliner. It's a great drugstore eyeliner. Um, if you're not good at doing gel, I would practice, 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 get you a good brush. Morphe makes an amazing angled liner brush that you can use to, uh, to practice with, but this is just by far one of my favorites. 
I tried not to talk about a palette that was limited edition or that nobody could get their hands on again. <laughs> Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. This has been a palette that has been an absolute must in my makeup. I, it has changed the game for me. It's just it's awesome. I absolutely love it. It's got a ton. All of them are matte shades. And this like this this orange color like this palette is it's perfect to me it's all matte I love using this to use as a highlight I love this black to set my eyeliner and to use just as a regular shadow all these browns are just they're warm they're creamy they're pigmented they blend out beautifully they're just it's my cup of tea and I absolutely love this palette I just I don't know why it's not talked about more on YouTube and it's the uh, Stila Eyes of the Window shadow palette in mine. It's got an awesome mirror. It's perfect for travel. It's got all the colors that you need to travel with. It's got some great blender shades in here. These are some of my favorite right here. It's got some good colors to, to deepen up your eyeshadow look or just to add some color into the crease. Uh, add some warmth or some cool tones. It's got beautiful grays. Warm. It's just, it's got everything that a girl needs. I was kind of looking at getting one of those uh, those Bizart palettes, but they're so expensive, and I just I just couldn't. I mean, I know they're only like thirty dollars more, but I just these were this was just too similar to the Bizart palette for me to justify thirty dollars more for similar colors. You know what I mean? But I say that now, but I'll probably end up getting it. Just watch. And so yeah, that is everything. It's been a really good month as far as like products go. Tell me if y'all like this background better or if you like that other background that I was doing. It's in the same room. I just, I can't decide if I like one more than the other. So guys, that is it for my favorites today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you comment below. Tell me uh, any future videos that you want me to do comment me. I would love to talk to you. Uh, add me on Instagram and Snapchat. And yeah, y'all come back now here. <laughs> it's Southern likes to come out once in a while. Bless her little heart. All right guys, bye. Peace out. Hey guys, it's Lindsay. So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions of this Cover FX foundation. 